Yeah, hello, good morning. How are you, all my people? Thank you for the day. And this is a new day. Uh, we thank God for what is happening in our life today. We give God glory and everything that the Lord has chosen for us today we celebrate. And I thank God. So, um, the points that I wanted to drive based on the video that people are requesting to know more details. I get uh, WhatsApp messages on my WhatsApp, uh, people requesting more clear, clear uh, uh, how do we call it, more insight and more clarifications on how to benefit from this uh, product of the land uh, we call garlic. And so um, uh, there is a, a way you can use it to spoil any uh, any charm, any charm in the body or charm within the ground in your land. That's, uh, that mean, uh, meaning you are farm all the charm that have been done in your area, whether it is in your uh, business premises or recipe, uh, place where you do business. There is a, these people that put charms so that you will not be able to make it. So if you want to use a garlic, it can help you to destroy charms. What do you do with that? If you want to get it for that solution, you pound a garlic. You pound it uh, very well, garlic, and mix it with the sea salt. You mix it with the sea salt, and then after you mix with the sea salt, you make you 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 do a timing of your early morning urine, and then when you get uh, the early morning urine, you mix it, mix it with the early morning urine, and pray that. God is going to use it as a solution to destroy any charm, whether it is in your body. If it is in your body, you are going to add that product in your bathing water. If it is on the place of a business, you are going to sprinkle in that place where you see, even if you notice any fetish thing like a charm that has been put on the ground against you, you, sp you sprinkle on it. And then it will nullify the power of the charm. It will not be able to uh, harm you or affect you. That's how you can destroy charms using the power of garlic, which is the power of the nature. You just need to mix it with a sea salt and mix it with your early morning urine and pray over it that God is going to use it as a solution to destroy. Speak your words on them and then act on it by sprinkling on the place where you think that place is a place uh, where the charm is uh, put, then uh, you, you will nullify the power of the charm. If you add uh, the garlic into your um, uh, daily bathing garlic, you pound it and you add into your um, bathing water every day, you keep, uh, you keep away you keep away all the many sorcerers and witches away from you. Like daytime and nighttime, <coughs> all of them, they will be scared. A spirit of fear will rest upon them. They will be afraid to come closer to you. So you just pound it and mix it into your bathing water. And then you bath it every day. You, you just use that one to bath. It's going to keep away or put far all these people with the spirit of witchcraft. So if you want to speak also with an uh, evil person, if you have something to do with an evil man or evil woman, you are sensing that a person is evil, maybe it's a diabolic person, or whatever evil that you are sensing or you know that a person is involved in that, and you want to have, you have something that you must speak with the person. What you do, just take garlic and remove the outer, the remaining, put in your mouth and chew. Eat. 
when you finish eating, just go and meet the person face to face. Nothing will happen to you. Talk to the person, anything you want to talk, when you finish, you go. There is no any charm that they will throw on you or any powers of darkness that will throw on you, that will harm you. Uh, you meet with the person uh, face to face. God is going to protect you from the danger of the, such a diabolic man. So also if you burn, uh, you burn garlic uh, once in a while in your house, it will help you to keep away all the uh, evil people. Because the smell of that, if you are burning it always and you send your prayers, it will confuse your enemies. Anything that they are planning to do against you, uh, God is going to confuse them. But the smell is going to corrupt their mind. Some of them, they will forget what they wanted to do. Some of them, they will give up. They will not be able to take their step again. This is how you can benefit from Galik. Okay? Where if you want, you have uh, the, those uh, evil dreams, negative dreams all the time, always... You can take a garlic and pray with it and then you put under your pillow. Put your head on your pillow. It will keep away witches and all the, the people that uh, pursue you in a, a night dream. Those wild dreams, uh, horrible dreams, and those negative arrows that people send in the night. In the manner of eating in the dream, making love, having sex in the dream, all these uh, visitation of men, homosexual people, or dreams of falling, dreams of running away from animals, or being beaten with an animal. Uh, these dreams are very, very uh, diabolic, and they are being manipulated. There be, is a way that the people are using to do negative things. And the dreams like making love to an, uh, somebody, a stranger, and it is consistent in your dream, it's not a good dream. People are doing a spiritual deposit of poison against you. Many, are, many people have been uh, barren as a result of making love in the dream and they receive a poison. So many people's programs or good things at uh, good luck that was coming to them was aborted eh? or diverted by this type of uh, arrows. So you can keep them away using this one. Uh, please, I, I pray that you don't neglect the power of uh, uh, garlic in the spiritual dimension. I've not exhausted all the use of garlic on a spiritual dimension, but do not neglect it. It's very, very powerful and very special. Look at it and try to practice what I'm saying. You don't need to pay any money for that. If you feel to send any offering, it's for your own. We are only committed and dedicated to teach what we think we can teach you by the grace of God to our people of God. The Lord bless you and favor you. Let me meet you again on the next video. Please study that and try to practice it and share my videos. It shall be a blessing to other people. God bless you. I love you all. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.